All right, guys, today I have two budget SRO type optics. I uh, just want to give you a little comparison. Here's the Vector Optics Frenzy, and here's the Gideon Omega. Both of these are available for around $140 to $160. I'll provide some links if I can. And uh, I do already have a more detailed video about the Vector Optics. I'll, I'll link to that also. So, man, it is difficult to focus on red dots through a camera. Uh, that's part of why I have these blinds as the background. I need the camera to have something to focus on. Plus, the uh, white blinds let me show you the tint and distortion uh, on both of these, which I would say is pretty low and about the same on either one. Now, on the left, I have the vector optics. Uh, this has a 3 MOA dot, a 40 MOA circle, and uh, yes, you can show the dot or the circle only. On the right, the Gideon optics, the specs also say 3 MOA dot, but 45 MOA circle. And to my eye, the Gideon dot looks smaller, but the circle looks a lot bigger. Okay, I've gone and maxed out the brightness on both of them. Um, I don't know if you can really tell on camera because the camera tends to level everything out, but they're both very bright. Um, I don't have any problem seeing these outdoors in daylight. Now a little bit about the physical specs. The Vector Optics is a 6061 aluminum. The, uh, the Gideon's a 7075, so the Gideon will be more durable. Still, I don't know if I'd recommend either of these for a duty type use because uh, this SRO style of optic where you've got the, the glass in front and higher than the base, it doesn't really take impacts well. Um, you know, the, the force on the hood won't transmit well through to the body, so the glass will absorb a lot of it and, and you can end up with cracked glass quite a bit easier than something like an RMR. But for range guns, definitely okay. And, um, you know, you can save a lot of money because you don't need that kind of durability on every gun. Also want to show you, let me try to get these level, the deck height of the Gideon Omega is a pretty good bit higher than the uh, Vector Optics. And that's because the, uh, the Omega has a top-loading battery. Uh, the vector optics you do have to dismount to change the battery from the bottom so you know there's a trade-off with that though and uh, that is the deck height and both of these dots are made in china um, you know that kind of goes without saying all your cheaper optics tend to originate in china so uh that's really all i have to show you today just wanted to do a really quick comparison for these uh budget SRO type red dots. Um, you can check out my more detailed video on the vector optics if you like, where I also shoot it at the range. So both good options if you want an SRO style of optic for not very much money. Thanks for watching.